Welcome back everyone to more career mode gameplay of NASCAR Heat 5. Ready for race number four at Homestead, Miami. And this is going to be a little bit tricky because I don't have a setup yet for Homestead, Miami. So we're gonna have to figure some things out. I'll throw something together and um, we'll do the very best that we can. But before we can race, we first need to prepare our car. So we'll go over to work plan. And right now car number one is actually in really good shape. Uh, with regards to engine and suspension. Now, our max on suspension is 85. I would love to get that up to a 90, but we need 60 grand to do that, and we're not there. We're about 45 grand right now. The other thing I would like to do is purchase another chassis, a short track chassis, but that is 81,500, and once again, we don't have that kind of money. So right now we could, one thing we could do is come over to our team. Uh, we could, let's see, could we, we could probably do one more upgrade here, but I really don't think we need to do that just yet, simply because our maximum for suspension is still 85. So it's really not gonna help us a whole lot. I think what we need to do next is one of two things. We can either go ahead and purchase that third uh, chassis or we can upgrade our suspension Either way, we're going to need to eventually do both, uh, but that's really the two things that we need to get done before we really start to worry about anything else. I'm leaning more toward purchasing the uh, third car. That way we can hire a couple more employees. Uh, so that's kind of my thinking right now. Again, there really is no wrong way of doing it because eventually we're going to want to do all of this and much more. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to need six cars uh, in our truck stable, but uh, at least three, if not four, before it's all said and done. The biggest part of it we got done by having two Speedway chassis, since there are so many of those uh, involved in the series. This is also the time where I'll let you guys know, I've been talking about it uh, since we began the series. We're not gonna run every race in the series, so I'm gonna start uh, jumping around a little bit and completing some races, trying to accumulate a little bit of money and move us toward the halfway point of the season, maybe run you know, a couple of races there uh, and let you guys catch up on where we are. And then I want to move farther toward the end of the season because what we're really after here is the end of the season, the playoffs, and then trying to move into Xfinity uh, and get started building our team there as well. So that's kind of what I've got in mind. But today, it's all about Homestead. So let's go ahead and put together our work plan and we want to make sure that we've got maxed out uh, as good as we possibly can. Again, not a whole lot here, so I'm going to go ahead and get plus nine on Matt uh, since we don't need but two anyway. And let's see, then we go over to our other chassis, plus 10 there, and plus 10 there. So we are in great shape. Now, the you notice here on this chassis, we're at 76 and 74 before we touch it. That is the benefit of smooth driving. You get great bonuses there, and it's really ultimately what you're going to need in order to get your chassis up to the maximum of 100 on down the road. Either that or you're going to have to buy a whole bunch of cars and hire a whole bunch of employees uh, in order to make that happen. So right now we are ready to go. Oops, wait a minute. I didn't didn't start the work. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. 90, 70, and 85. Work plan is done. Let's go ahead and select the car. And so obviously we want Speedway chassis number one since it's in slightly better shape than the other one. And it's time to race. Qualifying wasn't too bad. Come on 23rd. You can see our goal time in the top right. 35.3. I'm not sure where that came from because the entire practice session, it was showing me a goal of about 33.9, I believe, something like that. Uh, and with a little bit more time, I might have been able to get down to it. Essentially, what I did for a setup is, uh, since I had just gotten done working on Vegas here very recently, I took something similar to Vegas and threw that at it, made it a couple of adjustments. I ended up running maybe five laps total, uh, which is part of the fun for me. I don't run very many practice laps, so we get into the race, and we're never exactly sure what we've got. So 23rd position, uh, and once again, we are on max difficulty of Legend. Let's get the race started. 
All right, here we go. Let's see what we've got for the stories of the race. Ty Majeski has been struggling. Zane Smith failed tech inspection, and Spencer Boyd also failed tech. So not bad. Uh, unfortunately for us, you can see that's going to put us on the outside with once again the wrong color rims. Be ready here. At some point, they will get that fixed. Green, green, green. Got one peeking inside. Somebody watching this video uh, six months from now will say, "Why does he keep saying that about the rims being the wrong color? Isn't that what he painted them?" Still there. Inside. All right, let's see what kind of speed we've got here. Something tells me we don't have near as much speed as we had at Atlanta. All clear. Because I'm thinking the AI are going to be much better here at Homestead. Wow. Okay, there's a lot going on here. I see a lot of three wide. Five to go, five to go. Which for us is going to mean really nowhere for us to go. Yep, these guys are had to get heavy on the brakes there going into turn one. They slowed down quite a bit. Now normally in the season we would run Homestead with a fully upgraded truck because it would be the finale. But not anymore, or at least not temporarily anyway. Something tells me that they're not going to be going to the desert for very long as the finale unless it gets a whole lot better racing than it has in the uh, recent past. Because Phoenix is not known for great racing. So who knows, Homestead might be getting this race back. I would love to see Atlanta get it. That would be awesome Outside. to see Atlanta get the finale. Right, you're clear there. Or Bristol. What about Bristol had the finale? Can you imagine the carnage? Stay low, it's stay bad low. enough as it is Car now. Outside. You got room. You're clear there. All right, so sitting here in 21st, at least for now. Uh, and we don't appear as though we're going to be able to do a whole lot of damage. Got a car coming inside oh, now. Oh, look out. Had to make way for Fogelman there at the last second. Two at the line. It feels like I am going extremely slow. Like this almost feels like Daytona where I need somebody to get out and push. I mean, we are at a 90 on uh, the engine. Uh, there's Zane Smith coming up behind us. I, I can't imagine he's going to stay back there very long. Looking inside now. Big fan of his in real life. And I really like the colors on that truck. One more to go. Good looking truck. All right, coming up on Jennifer Jo Cobb. At least we're, we're going to try to get to her. We need a big draft. That's what we need. Uh, unfortunately, I've turned down the drafting on the other tracks Hold your line, got one outside inside. of right, uh, the Super Speedways. So we're not going to get near the draft no that we might otherwise get. Ooh. But plenty of okay, left. that's one thing I do not like about the NASCAR Heat Series. Um, as soon as the 10th place finisher, you know, the last points paying position, crosses the start finish line, it not only stops the stage, uh, by the way, we will not be pitting. It also yanks the wheel, and it tries to yank the wheel out of my hand. That's never a fun Starter thing. I really have to hand. focus on that. Here. Otherwise, it probably will yank it out of my hand. Got one outside now. Stay on the bottom. All right, here we go. 24th position. Stay on the bottom. Oh, Inside. that wasn't good. We need bud. some more grip. Still there. All right, we're going to get out of the gas way early. Careful, Float it down there. in here. Oh, we're going to pedal this thing through the center. Still there. 
All right, how on earth are we gaining on John Hunter right here? Still there? Poor John Hunter must really be struggling in that top. eight truck right now if he's back here messing around with us. And he is on me pretty tight. We, are we three wide? Still there. We came off the corner and he was right on Got our door. Top. Which makes me wonder if we weren't three wide with him in the middle. Three wide oh. now. All right, clear out that. Wow, that is awful. The push is real. Five to go, five uh, to go. Speaking of Nemechek, here comes Careful, his dad through. There. Inside. Dad trying to outrun son. Got a car in the race. coming inside now. Still there. Inside. Oh, this is just awful. But <laughs> we have no grip whatsoever. Especially when we get Hold up top. Line, stay high. Stay high up there. And somehow John Hunter is still behind us. Yeah, this, uh, wow, this almost feels like something's broken. It didn't feel this bad in the five laps of practice that I ran. I'll put it that way. We'll just chalk it up to arrow push, and we will soldier on. Again, I cannot believe John Hunter is not, I can't believe he hasn't passed us five times already. As slow as we're running, it feels like we ought to have been lapped multiple times by now. I need two more solid laps, bud. Keep two it going. more solid laps. You got it. We're going to give you two more solid laps. I mean, the car's rotating okay if I'm just way out of the gas for a lengthy period of time, but of course that's not doing us any favors on the timesheet. So I'm just gonna have to back off and uh, and just Flight learn to live with it. The air. All right, final lap, uh, and there's no way. We're not doing anything with these guys in front of us. There's no pressure from behind. So no need to do anything crazy here. Nice driving that stage, oh, there we driver. go. I was ready for it that time. I had a, had a hold to the wheel so it couldn't yank away from me. So 26 position, and tires still perfectly fine. we got 20 laps remaining. Uh, of course, as, as of now, we will not be pitting and I doubt anybody else will either. All right, once again on Coming the outside. The All, All right, right now we're going to get a longer run here, at least somewhat line, longer run. Inside. Longer than what we've been dealing with. Still there. So we've got 17 laps remaining. Careful, still there. Inside. You got room. You're clear. All right, we are clear. Poor John Hunter still stuck behind us. Stay low, stay low. Probably hear me pedaling it a little bit right there. Just trying to wait on this thing stay to turn. So I can get back room. to the throttle. My brain's telling me that uh, we should be good. Get back in the gas. The truck very quickly is telling me, no, that is not the case.
All right, let's get that draft. Come on, Jennifer Joe, pull us along. Still there? All right, that was a little better. A little better trip through the corner. So patience is definitely a virtue for us in this race. Anytime you are on, Careful, still there. Uh, you're in a race with an underpowered car or truck, you just have to have patience. Ooh, yikes. Jennifer still Joe there. Cobb really holding us down right there. Side drafting is hard through the corner. Inside, inside. Oh, look out. Stay high up here. Got to our inside right on the entry. Careful, still there. Careful, still there. Oh, look at that, we're three wide. Now we just need the horsepower to pull through it. Stay low, stay low. All right, so this is about where I thought we would be running uh, at this point in the season. Again, Atlanta, uh, the AI there just not up to par the where they are at some of the tracks. Now, some of the tracks are just like Atlanta and the AI are way off the pace uh, compared to where they should be. If you're wondering, uh, some of the best tracks for the AI, as far as what I feel like have gotten them pretty good, uh, would be Vegas, Texas. Still there? Uh, of course, Richmond. I think they made some adjustments this year on the AI at Richmond. But Richmond was, they were really fast at Richmond Still compared there. to me anyway. All right, Jennifer Joe must have some issue with me right Still now there. because she is not on exit going out anywhere close to the wall. And I swear she's brake checking me on corner entry. She is running a tight line. I don't think we've had any contact with her. I know she's not a uh, rival Careful. of ours because we don't have any rivals yet. And as far as I know, everybody's pretty happy with us. That wasn't too bad. She didn't put up too much of a fight there once we got a little room on her. Yeah, Texas and Vegas are two very good ones. Uh, trying to think off the top of my head some of the other ones. Those are the two that really stick out. In fact, those are my go-tos. If I just want to load up NASCAR heat, in a, a quick race and just have some fun against the AI. Those are generally the two tracks that I'm gonna pick. Hold your line, got one oh, inside. Look out. Somebody there inside there. Got one peeking inside. I think he gave us a little love tap. He said, excuse me, I would like to come through. Who is that, 33 truck? Careful, still there. Careful, still there. Stay high, stay high. All right, unfortunately we're not gonna be able Careful. to clear Jennifer Joe Cobb there, because I really wanted to get down to the bottom. Stay high up there. I mean, it took us a long time to make a pass on Jennifer Joe Cobb, and unfortunately, we Careful, lost it just as quick. All right, once again, she is giving me no room whatsoever. Here. Stay on the bottom. 
This is where NASCAR heat needs to have like uh, driver interactions yeah, after the, the race. A little post-race uh, fireworks here. Jennifer Joe coming over to the truck. Maybe wanting to have a discussion about the way we raced her or something. You know, something along those lines. Spice things up a little bit. Oh, look out. Stay low, stay low. Top three, use it if you need it. All right, there we go. We got by her again. All right, yeah, we need somebody to get out and push. This, that's what we need. So, you some of you this. folks in the back, hop out of the truck bed and uh, give us a, a good solid push down the straightaway. And I believe we could get by Josh Rayon. All right, how many laps we got left? What, three or four or something like that? I am now on a mission to try to get by Josh Rayon. All right, come on, we're a little bit closer here. All right, if he will go high. Careful, still there. Oh yeah, the truck has come to me now. It's a little, little twitchy right now. Oh, hello. Oh, a little contact there. Again, he's got plenty of room up there. I don't know why he needs to be so tight on me coming off the corner, other than for the racing reason. Oh, a little brake check going into the corner. Maybe it wasn't Jennifer Joe Cobb. All right, here we go. Get a run. Still there. Right, three laps remaining. Clear all around. Yeah, the truck has definitely come to me. Still not wonderful. Still not fast, but uh, I can be more aggressive with the throttle now. Earlier in the center of the corner than I could before. All right, Realm, don't you get up here and pass. Don't you do it. You need to stay back there behind us. I need two more. It's all last, man. Keep it going. He wants very badly to get up here and pass us once again. Inside. We'll get you a better car. You'll do better. Wow. I think that's the first time I've seen this. The race finished after uh, the caution came out on the white flag lap. Interesting. So, hey, that is a first for me. So we'll go ahead and confirm that. Thank you very much for letting me know. And so 25th position. It did credit us with passing, being ahead of uh, Rayom, right? I will confess to not paying that close of attention to where we were in the finishing or the running order. But we better got, we worked way too hard to get by Jennifer Joe Cobb and Josh Ray home to not get credit for that. So 25th position, it is. Let's go ahead and continue on. Wait. Wait, two laps down. Okay, never mind. Just some kind of glitch. Oh, how about that? Even the leader was a lap down. That's when you know things are going bad. Even the leader is a lap down. Okay, so we got some issues there with the uh, timing and scoring when cautions come out into the race and all that kind of stuff so yeah yeah that is uh that wasn't good at all so somehow we got down two laps we were not down a lap but regardless i don't think it made any difference whatsoever other than it just kind of looks weird on the race results what kind of earnings did we get 19,678 for our race purse 4800 and 10 bucks again i'm gonna need some of you guys to run down to the merch table and buy some more shirts it's real simple if you if you guys will continue to buy shirts then we can get more upgrades and we can run up front with these guys instead of running 25th fighting with jennifer joe cobb we can get up front and fight it out with solder and all of those guys so that's the plan we need you guys to buy some t-shirts
because that merch payout, we just, we just have to do better than that. So $24,488 there. And so where does that put us in the point standings? Ah, we lost a little bit there. We're back to 18th position now, and we're going to fall even more here uh, very shortly as I start to uh, simulate some of these races. Uh, we'll fall down some, but don't worry. By the end of the season, we will be right up front where we need to be, or at least we better be, because we want to fight for that championship. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on. Who got the fastest lap? So, oh, Ross Chastain, 32.8. Yeah, we were nowhere near that. What were we, 34-something? 34.6 or something like that during the race, probably. And, okay, our guy Zane moved up to finish 16th, so he come from the very back. Uh, poor John Hunter. You just got to feel for John Hunter. He, he was struggling. When you're running behind us right now at this part of the season, you're struggling. So Johnny Sauter dominated. 22 laps led, so not bad at all for him. So that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. And once again, we will continue our career mode gameplay of NASCAR Heat 5.